There we go. All right. <clears throat> so I requested some alone time here so that I could film. Um, there are Thanksgiving stuff going on in the background, but I wanted to hop on here and get ready and see what everybody's doing. And hopefully um, you guys are already um, all doing your own Thanksgiving festivities. And um, in the sense that I hope that that is what you guys are doing. I hope no one's watching. But if you are and you're bored, then I'm here and I'm just getting ready for my own stuff because it is, um, everything's crazy this year. Um, we are just doing, um, things with our own family, which is what I assume a lot of you guys are probably doing. Um, just because I know it's, uh, you know, because of the COVID, there's no like big gatherings or anything like that. And so we just decided much like everyone else, I'm sure just to do things just with our family, um, just with us. And so that's what's happening today. So, um, my, um, hubby's coming and, um, to spend Thanksgiving with us. And so I figured I, um, can I zoom this in while I'm on here? Oh, I can I zoom you in a little bit so that you're not seeing, you know, my PJs and whatnot, but I'm, uh, representing the Lakers today. Um, so I figured, yeah, let's just, uh, throw on some makeup and get ready and see how it goes. So the lighting is not the best in here. Um, I'm in my own room at my parents' house now. Um, <clears throat> different than the one before we kind of switched rooms and it's a long story, but, um, I may have to get like a brighter lamp to put behind it, but I think this is okay for now because this is kind of a informal, like, let's just chill kind of a thing. So, um, I already put my Monate, um, uh, skin essence on my face and so I am going to use a primer. I am using a luminous primer. I'm putting on more makeup than I normally would um, just because that's what I'm feeling today. So I'm putting just a little bit of this luminous um, primer on by Rodial and I just kind of work it in. I'm putting it all over today. Normally I don't ever put it on my forehead but it's okay for today. And then I am also breaking another first that I don't, well, not a first, but something I don't ever do, which is um, putting on foundation. I never wear foundation because I don't feel like I need it, but I am just kind of feeling it today. So I really wish I had another lamp. There was another lamp that was in here. I need like my, like my small desk lamp I have at home so that there's a little more light. So I don't think I can fix it on here while I'm live, but anywho, so this foundation is cool. This is the Alme one. This is the one that um, is a smart shade um, matching foundation. So it comes out white. You can see it's like this whitish gray color. And then it like magically transforms to your skin um, skin's color, which you'll see here in a minute. And it really does work. So as you rub it in, it completely disappears and it becomes foundation. And it's like the coolest thing ever. And I didn't think it would work the first time, but I've never had this oxidize on me. I've never had it not like match me perfectly, which is really crazy for, you know, a foundation. Um, and mine is in the shade light medium. Um, I think they have like a fair light, light medium and medium dark. Um, so the shade range on this is really limited, but it does claim to match most skin tones. I feel like this would probably be a little bit too dark if you had very, very light skin. Um, and it would also be a little bit too light if you had really dark skin, which that I don't like. I don't like when companies aren't inclusive to all skin types because while the majority of people have skin tones like mine, a lot of people have very fair, almost translucent skin. And then on the opposite end, you have that beautiful, deep, dark skin, so. Okay, and then since I am going to, um, since I have a luminous primer on underneath, I'm not using my MAC powder because Max powder has a little bit of luminescence to it already. I have my little mirror here on the side, but why do my eyes look so dilated today? Look at that. I look like I'm on drugs. It's not just the filter. Like, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, holy crap. How much arpium did you take? Could also be a side effect of my fibromyalgia medicine, so I do take um, 
I take Lyrica for my um, fibromyalgia and it works really well, but I don't know if that's what's making me look crazy. I promise I'm not on drugs. <laughs> Okay, so I just used my Limelight translucent powder. Um, I am trying to use this up because I'd like to get a different one. I'd actually like to try one that is a cult favorite, and I'd like to try the Laura Mercier one, because that one I heard is like super amazing, so. And then since it's not a day where we're going out or doing anything, I'm going to use my e.l.f. pencil. Um, it is the wrong shade for me. It is um, too light of a brown, and it's a little bit got redness in it. Um, but for today, I don't really care if it doesn't perfectly match because it's just me hanging out with the family, you know, eating turkey and prime rib and stuff, so. And yes, that is what our family is doing this year is we are having some prime rib. Because it's just us. And it will be great. I forgot where I was going with that. So my brows are microbladed, but they are fading. Um, I need to get them done really badly. But, so I'm just creating these little hair strokes to kind of bring them back to life a little bit. So that looks really good. And that's compared to see how faded it is. And also there's foundation and powder on top of it, but yeah, they need to be redone. I've been working my butt off trying to earn money and stuff so that I could do my my night thing, which I'm well on my way to, but I also really <laughs> could use getting my brows done. Okay, now one is darker than the other, so. Okay, so it's not perfect, but that's good enough for what we're doing today. And then let's see here. Um, I keep applying my lipstick first. Like, I don't know why, but I'm in this bit thing right now where I like to apply lipstick before I do anything else, which is really weird. Oh my gosh. I know I have this like lip primer thing in the corner. So I have to like lift you guys up for a sec. Mm. Sorry, there's no way to edit that out, but this is what happens in real life, so that's why I like these kinds of videos better. It's because you see what actually happens behind the scenes. Oh, there we go. That's like reflecting the little bit, a little bit. Ah. Okay, so, and I'm like slouched too. I have terrible posture, but um, I have this um, Maybelline Baby Lips. Anyways, I have no idea what that was about. Um, I have this Maybelline Baby Lips. It's like a pH um, one, and it's called My Pink because it's a different shade of pink on everyone, um, which I do really like. This is actually really good for a drugstore thing. Um, and so then I have two that I could possibly do. I have this one from Tristique, um, which is a pretty kind of pink color. And then I also have this one from All May. This is their... Hmm, what is this? It doesn't say. It just says, oh, Lip Vibes Lipstick, and this is in Love Big. It's a cream, but it is a kind of a corally based pink, which I'm kind of feeling this one, so I don't normally wear really bright lipstick like that, but I've been kind of feeling it lately, so 
Oh my gosh, what is all these crusties on my eye? Ooh, I must have slept good. Okay, so then while I'm doing that, let's um, let's go ahead and put on some of this br er, lash serum. It, well, it's a lash and brow serum, but I'm just using it on my lashes right now. So we're gonna put that on and let it dry. And then while we're letting that dry, let's go ahead and apply the lipstick. Which again is something that I never do, but I have been doing lately because I always told you guys, I never apply my lipstick first and I never base a look on that. And then um, what was I saying? But lately I've been applying that first, so. <laughs> My brain is like completely fogged today. And I realized how weird of a Thanksgiving it is. Because we turned on the TV and like for the first time in I don't know how many years, like the Thanksgiving Day Parade is not playing. And that's just really weird. And I don't like it. Like this year has been a year of a lot of firsts <laughs> that are not necessarily good. So I applied that. Hang on. And then, um, wow. I'm still waiting for my lash time to dry, so we may have to just like play with the rest of the face first. This is completely backwards from how I normally do my makeup, but. Um, who's on here right now, Jonathan? Jonathan, are you that bored that you're watching me on Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh man. I mean, I appreciate people watching, but I'm also like, man, you've got to be pretty bored if you're watching me. Um, so let's do this. I like this bronzer. I need to get a full-size one of this. This is the Chocolate Soleil one and by Too Faced, and it actually smells like chocolate, and it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you know what? If you're bored... It's okay. You can come chat with me anytime. I was actually just talking about my brows. And um, they are due for a touch-up. So I need to get that done like badly. Because I am loving them. And they need that touch-up. So I need to... I need to talk to my lady and uh, get that done. But... I'm like trying to, I'm work, I've been working my butt off because I've been working toward a couple of different things right now. And the one of them that I'm doing is like, the one that I want to do is like $800. So I have been working like nonstop trying to get up to that. So I have to like, ideally I would, I would work up to that and then the additional, whatever it is toward my, um, toward my brows. I think it's like 150 or something like that. So to get them touched up, so. Yeah, they do look pretty good. Right now, there's um, I put like a pencil on them to kind of bring them, you know, out. But they are, um, if you go back and watch this later when I first started, they're really faded. And so I'm just like, I'm kind of like mentally freaking out a little bit where I'm like, oh my god, I need to get them done. Because I don't want to have to restart all over. But <sighs> So I have a lot of anxiety over that because I just, I need to like, I'm going to have to really work. And I have no idea if I'm going to make my goal for both things that I do right now so I'm just like inwardly hyperventilating a little bit okay and then where are my brushes hang on I gotta reach around for a sec so you get to see up close of my, my mouth can I help you um let's see and anytime I do this particular one I need like a dual ended brush here. Hang on. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know you're getting old when something as simple as orange juice. Oh, see? 
why can't this light be like it's reflecting off the stinking thing up there but like something as simple as orange juice gives you like a major heartburn I feel so old like I just I I can't eat like pepperoni pizza or orange juice or anything like that because I get terrible heartburn <laughs> oh I know that's not attractive but like just like how old are you Actually, the real funny story, the real reason that you know you're old is I was watching this commercial for this new vacuum cleaner and I literally was like glued to the screen and I was so excited because I was like, oh, it scrubs and does whatever. And it was this one by like Shark or whatever. And it had, um, it has these like, instead of having the bristles on the bottom, it had like these rubber things that kind of really scrape the floor. And I was like getting so excited about it. And that's when I knew that um, I was getting a little bit old because if a vacuum cleaner makes me excited. I mean, if you think about it, when you were younger, you got excited about things like, I don't know, new gaming consoles or... I don't know, in my case, like shoes or something. And this one, I was like, oh, vacuum. I want that right now. <laughs> uh, and that's when I was like, all right, hold on, girl. You're getting a little, uh, get a little foggy there. So this stuff is cool. Um, it's much like my ones from Julep. This is a cream eyeshadow that dries down to a um, powder finish. And it's just really simple and it gives a really pretty amount of color. So we're just going to put that on all over. Right? Like stuff like that. Like appliances, you know. Like a fridge that actually does ice and does like decent ice, you know. Or um, my mom and dad just got this new washer, um, and it's actually a washer and a dryer all in one, like all one machine, and I just, my mind is blown away by that. And like, it has like Bluetooth and stuff to where you can like control it from your phone, and I was like, what the? I mean, ours is pretty cool, but it's not that cool. So, I don't know. Hey, whatever, that's, that's, you know, that's just what it is. You get bigger and the toys get bigger. <laughs> they also get progressively more expensive too, but that's the way it rolls. That's the way it is. I actually have my, I have my eye on the, the vacuum thing that mom and dad have because it's actually really cool. But I told everyone I only wanted one thing for Christmas and that's what I'm hoping to get, so... That's also what I'm working my ass off for. Oh, sorry, can I say that? Are you allowed to swear in here? Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm learning to not swear so much because my kid is starting to um, copy what I say quite a bit. And so he, um, yesterday, is saying like his, well, not his first word because it was like, but he clearly like directly copied what I said you know because I was telling I was giving him a banana and so he actually said banana and then <laughs> that's when my dad and I looked at each other we're like we have to watch her mouth <laughs> mama's kind of a sailor and uh she's got a little uh not she has not a filter on there at all there's no filter here um and so with my kids starting to copy everything that I say I have to watch that so and I swear, his his first word is going to be a swear word because... <sighs> Wait. I thought that was him crying in the background. Mom and Dad are watching him, but... I was like, uh-oh. What are you... Gotta cut this short. <sighs> so, since you're the only one watching, Jonathan, what are you up to today? What are you doing today? <laughs> Filter is broken. Oh, that must be where I got it from. I got it from you then. I don't know. That's weird though. I don't know why, but I've always, I've never seen you as someone who would swear. Like, I'm sure you obviously do, but you always like seem so like, I don't know, you're always so nice, and so I just, like, I think I would be kind of taken aback <laughs> if I heard that from you. Oh, chickens. Did, 
Do I not remember you have chickens? That's cool. Are they, um, are they laying ones? Are you doing laying for eggs? Or are you just doing like, you know, I'm going to eat them later kind of chickens. This thing is drying out. That's cool. I love chickens. Oh, I just turned that into a song just now. Checking out my chickens. Wow, you have 11? Dang. Cool. Back uh, at our house, we live in an Amish community. And uh, I know it's weird, right? But um, the people that we live with, they have chickens too. Um, although they don't have as many as they used to because they have these, um, the, we kind of live in this big, I don't know, um, uh, we, this is like this, I don't know, it's this big thing. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, because I'm kind of tired right now. But anyway, so they have, they have chickens and then over on the other side they have a goat, um, that I think is pregnant right now. And um, I didn't realize goats are pregnant for just about as long as we are. It's like nine or 10 months or something like that. And I'm like, holy crap, um, I feel you goat. I know what it feels like. Um, but anyways, and then they have these three poodles and they're standard size poodles, so they're pretty huge. But anyways, every time they get out, which they somehow get out, first of all, it's hilarious because they somehow mean, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, like a cul-de-sac. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. And so the poodles get out, and then they somehow find a way to let the goat out. Well, the goat wanders around like a dog. Like, it is hilarious. This goat is pretty much a puppy. It's like a big, white, cute puppy. She's adorable. But the poodles, um, wow, he's having fun in the background. The poodles actually kill chickens. And so there's been a couple of times where um, one of them... Um, the original one because they had one poodle and then a few months later they got two more and then so the original one she used to just go and steal eggs well then she killed a chicken and we didn't know about it we just saw the aftermath and the feathers and stuff well then the other two poodles came in and they just they kill chickens left and right so if those dogs get out the chickens are gone so and even that rooster is big and mean and cocky as he thinks he is just cannot save them and she's eaten like three of them I think so far so I had no idea that dogs did that and they don't just kill them like she kills and eats them so which I think is kind of nasty because I'm like are chickens dirty so I don't know if I I mean I've always thought it would be fun to have chickens um if I could find a way to like do it right and keep them clean and stuff I would which obviously you probably do but I think it would be fun to have like goats or, I don't know, maybe not sheep, but I would love to have a cow. I think cows are awesome. But yeah, I would not mind living somewhere where I could have some livestock. And obviously, if I had my choice above all of those, I would have, um, I would have horses, obviously. Horses win above any other animals, like hands down. I would ride every single day. Like, unless it was blizzarding, and even then I would probably try to saddle up. I went horseback riding for my birthday this year, and it was the funnest thing I've done in, like, ten years. And I cannot absolutely wait to go again. I forget the place, the name of the place that we went to, but I'm going back for sure. Like... Yeah, have a huge cage. Oh, cool. Yeah, it depends on... Um, it depends on the property you have, but, uh, chickens don't really seem to care if they're entirely free range or caged. I don't know, Jonathan, that means that your, your chickens are not 100% certified organic free range. So if I ever come to your house and have, want to have free range eggs, I'm out of luck. You're saying they're caged? How barbaric. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. I actually, I remember watching this whole, 
Um, one of my favorite shows of all time is Portlandia. And I just find that show really relaxing. I need to watch it again. But I was watching this episode where they went, um, <laughs> I know, um, where they like, I don't know if it was chickens, but what was the episode? It was like some sort of thing that they were going to eat or whatever. And it was like making fun of the fact that like Portland is just, it's just all granolas. And they were going and um, they uh, they sat down at the table and they were asking all these questions. They're like asking if it had a name and they're like, yeah, we'd like to go meet it. And so they're like, they like told their waitress or waiter or whatever. They're like, yeah, hold on to our table. We're going to go meet this, you know, whatever animal they were thinking about eating. Make sure he had a good life. And oh my God, it was hilarious. And I could just, I could see people like actually doing something like that. And I'm sure they have and I just don't know about it, but. Um, but yeah, it's kind of funny. Me, I don't necessarily care about that really at all. Um, I do, um, there we go. Create a little extra fun wing there. I do like my, um, some things to be like sustainable, like seafood. I do eat sustainable because I know that our oceans are being incredibly overfished and that actually, I don't know why that bothers me. Um, I just watched a few documentaries on it and I happen to know that it's just, people are just really bad about it and how they're doing that. And so, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I literally am like so distracted right now. Hens are happy roosters about to kid. Yeah. So, um, the rooster that's back at our little community or whatever um nearly had the same fate because he um oh what am I trying to say um my kid was playing outside it was over the summer and so my um my kiddo was playing outside and I see him come running around the corner and he's crying and I know it's okay. I, I've just, it's whatever. I'm done with my makeup and sound now. I'm just talking to you on here. So if anybody else is listening, we're just talking about roosters for a second. So just, you know, just join in. Um, but anyways, um, and then, so he comes around the corner and he's like crying. And so, you know, of course I'm, I'm walking over, you know, trying to see, you know, what happened. And then coming around the corner right after him is the rooster and I knew immediately that's what happened is he probably went over to go look at the rooster, pet the rooster or something because, you know, he thought it was cute and the rooster was coming after him. Oh, you better bet those mamba bear claws came out and uh, we nearly had a fried rooster for dinner because I was like, you can do whatever you want at me. Like this rooster, he is just, he is all high and mighty and full of himself and he's actually like fluffed his feathers at the truck and stuff before as I've driven by and I'm like yeah you're real but I was like you mess with my kid you're not gonna make it so um that was the only day in my life that I have ever purposely hurt an animal and uh you better bet that as that rooster was coming around that corner flapping its wings and at my kid I kicked it I know that's horrible and some people if they watch this are gonna be like oh my god you're so cruel but I was like no when it comes to my kid if you mess with my kid sorry so I kicked a rooster that day so um so anyways I am going to end this but if you want to talk to me on here still um I will chat with you like on Facebook or whatever so thank you to the one person that watched and I will end this and we'll chat some more off camera okay peace